Scientific Notation on a Calculator, Lesson 2.4D. On many scientific calculators, we can enter numbers in scientific notation by using a function labeled EE in lowercase or EE in uppercase. And they're usually in yellow, it could be in orange, depending on the model. Usually the letter E takes the place of times 10. This means that the number 2 and 3 tenths times 10 raised to the fourth power will appear on the calculator screen as 2.3 uppercase E and a 4. On a scientific calculator, 7.9 times 10 raised to the third power appears as 7.9 E3. 3.014 times 10 raised to the fifth power appears as 3.014 E5. 1.75 times 10 raised to the negative fourth power appears as 1.75 E minus 4. So a very typical classroom calculator is the Texas Instrument 83 Plus scientific calculator. If you look right here, there's a yellow key. That's the second key. And if you look right here, there's a comma on this key, but above it, there's an EE. Here's our on key, here's our enter key. So just as a keyboard has more characters when we push the shift key, a scientific calculator has more characters when we push the second key. We can enter 7.9 times 10 raised to the third power by entering 7.9, hitting the second key. Then above this comma key, you'll see this capital EE, -E, we hit this, then we hit 3. On the screen, we'll see 7.9 E3. If we push Enter, we'll see the number in standard notation as 7,900. If we look very closely at the scientific calculator, you'll see the yellow button that says second, and over this comma button, you'll see the EE -E right there. If we push second, then that's going to enable all the functions that are above these keys, and that will enable the EE. -E. By pressing the second key, we'll enable the functions that are written in yellow above the keys. Pressing this blue alpha key right here will enable a blue letter that's written above the keys. To enter more letters, press alpha again for each one, for each letter. So we're not going to use this. I just thought that would be interesting for you. This table shows the approximate populations of Iowa, Texas, and Kentucky. What is the total population of these three states? Write the answer in scientific notation. Now, if you remember from the previous videos, we needed to change them all to the same power of 10 before adding them. We won't need to give them the same power of 10 to add them on a scientific calculator, but we would if we added them on paper. We learned that in video 2.4a, which is linked in this description. To add these scientific notation numbers on a calculator, for Iowa, we're going to enter 3 decimal point 19. We're going to hit the second key. Then we're going to hit that comma key that has the EE -E above it. Then we're going to hit 6. We hit the plus sign and we enter Texas, 2 decimal point 99, hit the second key, hit the comma key with the EE -E above it, and hit 7, hit the plus sign again. Then enter Kentucky, 4 decimal point 49, hit the second key, hit the comma with the EE -E above it, and then 6. We'll see 3.19 E6 plus 2.99 E7 plus 4.49 E6 which is equal to 37,580,000. Now it told us we needed to write our answer in scientific notation. And since our decimal point for 37 million is back here, we're going to do seven hops and put the decimal point here. So we're going to have 3.758 times 10 raised to the seventh power. We had seven hops, so the 10 is raised to the seventh power. We write the answer in proper scientific notation in the ones place, the number is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, and 3 fits that description.
Here it's telling us to match the scientific notation to the corresponding calculator notation. Our first one is 3 and 5 tenths times 10 raised to the fourth power. We look over here and we see 3 and 5 tenths e4. That's this one. Here we have 3 and 85 hundredths times 10 raised to the fourth power. Be careful. See how the numbers are inverted? We want 3.85, that's going to be this one, which means 3.58 times 10 to the fourth power would be this one. Here it's telling us to match the calculator notation to the corresponding scientific notation. Our first one is 4E3. So we don't have a decimal point, it must be this one. Here we have 4 and 1 tenth E3. Well, 4 and 1 tenth would be this one. That leaves 1 and 4 tenths E3 to be 1.4 times 10 raised to the third power. Remember, this capital E is taking the place of times 10. We're now finished with module 2, and we're going to be moving on to module 3. We're going to learn about representing proportional relationships, either with tables, equations, or graphs. And remember, if you don't have a scientific calculator, you can still add the scientific notation by making sure they all have the same power of 10. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.